This book is called Wiggles. And it's a little golden book from the 1950s. Yeah, Simon and Schuster, no less. Okay. Uh, yes, 1953. One day, Donnie went with his mother to see Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones lived on a farm. Donnie had never been there before. Mrs. Jones said, I'm so glad to see you, Donnie. Go hunt around outdoors. You'll find Wiggles to play with you. Donnie didn't know who Wiggles was. A dog, a cat, a lamb, a mouse. He could have asked Mrs. Jones, but he didn't like to. So he ran around to look around. Sometimes in life it's good to ask questions, particularly if, if, uh, when you don't know what's going on. But that's me. The first thing he saw was a rabbit hutch. A big white rabbit was nibbling lettuce. Could this rabbit be Wiggles? wondered Donnie. Just then a big girl came from the barn. She was carrying eggs in a basket. Has this rabbit a name? asked Donnie. We just call him Pinky, said the girl, because of his big pink ears. She went on into the house. A squirrel whisked up a tree and sat on a branch over Donnie's head. He chattered and wiggled. <laughs> That's a good sign. And twitched his tail. Could he be Wiggles, wondered Donnie. Just then a big boy came round the barn. Has that squirrel a name, asked Donnie. Not that I know of, said the boy. Most squirrels don't. Not wild ones, anyway. He went along to the pump. Donnie walked past the barn. There was there in the pen was uh, were five little piglets with their mother. The piglets poked and nosed and wiggled, ha ha ha, their little curly tails. Could all these little pigs be Wiggles? Wondered Donnie. There was an old man sitting nearby in a chop on a chopping block. Have these little pigs got names? Asked Donnie. Not yet, son, said the old man, and went on sitting. You notice he's not asking any of these uh, people what their names are. <laughs> Interesting. Donnie walked along a lane and wondered and wondered. Could Wiggles be these butterflies hovering over the clover? Could Wiggles be there, these little chickens pecking, pecking? Could this old mother hen be Wiggles? or the great rooster strutting around with his handsome tail. How can you play with a butterfly or a little chicks that run so fast, or mother hen who squawks and flutters away, or that big rooster looking proud and fierce? Ha ha ha, deductive reasoning. Donnie walked until he uh, saw some cows in a field. A baby calf was wo with wobbly legs was standing by its mother. There was a man there, too, who remains nameless, stroking the little calf's neck. Could that calf be Wiggles? wondered Donnie. Has the little calf got a name? he called to the man. My wife just calls him Pet, said the man. The man shouted back. Why don't you go find Wiggles down in the orchard? <laughs> Donnie wanted to ask him, who is Wiggles? He was afraid it might sound silly, so he walked towards the orchard. See, you could have asked, but uh, oh well. There was a curly-haired dog just coming out of the orchard. He sniffed the ground, sniff, 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 sniff. Could this be Wiggles, wondered Donnie. All the dogs he knew had names. This one must be Wiggles. Then a little old woman howled out of the orchard. She was carrying apples in her apron. Donnie asked her, What is that dog's name, please? Have an apple? Asked the little old woman, holding out her apron. Thank you, said Donnie, and took one. Uh, and took one. His name's Jip, said the, old, the old woman said. Why don't you go find Wiggles? Last tree down this road. Come, Jip. She hobbled away. Jip tried it after her. Donnie wondered what she could mean about the tree. Could Wiggles be a bird? How could he play with a bird? He walked along the row of trees until he came to the last one. Ha! There was a ladder leaning against it. 
Hi, said uh, uh, a voice up among the branches. Want to come in my tree, up in my tree house? Donnie looked up and saw a boy looking down through the leaves. My name's Donnie. What's yours? Asked Donnie. He put one foot on the ladder. Wiggles, the boy replied. Did you ever have a tree house? Changing the subject. No, said Donnie. He climbed another step. But why do they call you Wiggles? He asked. Oh, just because I can wiggle my ears. Come up and I'll show you, Wiggles said. So Donny climbed up where he could see and Wiggles showed him. And then told him that Wiggles was actually his given name on his birth certificate. But now nah, they didn't, didn't say that. But the end.